Hello, welcome to my laboratory. I've noticed a couple of videos lately where people seem to have discovered uh, a rather common magnetic effect. In fact, uh, Stefan has featured one of these videos. Stefan uh, Hartman has featured one of these videos at the top of his um, website as if it were something really important and unusual. Well, maybe it is, but it's an old effect, and here I'm going to demonstrate the basic form of it. I learned about this first uh, from studying Stefan Marinov's magnet work, and this is described by Marinov's mentor, Nikolaev, in a book that's only available in Russian, unfortunately. Now, people keep discovering this effect again, and uh, uh, and it is a neat effect. It's also the basis of the so-called Gauss rifle effect. Here I've got a large, strong ring magnet configured with the faces uh, polarized. So, and then here I have a little stack of NDB magnets configured as a bar magnet. So the black attracts white and repels black and attracts silver. Okay, so that's the way we're oriented. And in the middle is a plain old tube, and then over here I have a drinking straw as a pusher. So I'm going to drop the NDB stack in, in the repulsive direction, like that. And you can see that, sure enough, the stack of magnets is repelled to that position quite strongly. But if I push it further in, it snaps into a stable position right in the middle of the ring magnet, and it wants to stay there quite strongly. But if I push it beyond that point, it pops and wants to fly out from the accumulated repulsion. So, once again, I'll drop it in with the white poles facing, and there's that repulsion. But if I turn it over, it just falls right out. Right? Now, watch what happens if I put it in the other way around. So, black, I'm going to put it in this way. Ah, now you see what happens. The magnet snaps to a stable position where repulsion and attraction are in balance, and it wants to stay there, and it also wants to stay there against the force of gravity. You can see how it is very stable in that position. If I push up, it stays there. If I push down, it also stays there. Now if I push it through, I'm going to hold my finger here so it doesn't go flying. If I push it through, boom, you see that very abrupt Gauss rifle effect. And But there's also another stable position on the other side. If I push it through, boom, the magnet is ejected from that position quite strongly. And I think the important part is that it's stable in both directions this way. And there's another stable point in both directions on this side. Right? But if you use a little bit of energy to push the magnet out of the first stable position, it goes completely through the next stable position and is ejected by that Gauss rifle effect quite strongly out the other end. Okay? This is a result, of course, of the interaction repelling here and attracting here. Okay, so forces are in balance. There's a repulsion and an attraction, and that situation is actually stable. And you could even spin this magnet here and it would still maintain a non-contact connection. I call this the one-dimensional trailer hitch, actually, because you can transmit pushes and pulls without 
being connected physically without the magnets being in physical contact. So you could imagine a chain of cars, railroad cars or a trailer and a puller connected by this type of a connection. You can push, you can pull, but you'll be free to rotate and yet still maintain a hookup. This is the same effect as the magnetic zipper and as the uh, the German uh, narration video that's on the top of Stefan Hartman's overunity.com site. Uh, it's the same effect. It's a very useful effect. But there's nothing magical happening here. It's just magnetic fields in balance. And I give this to you for free. Please continue to do your homework and continue to do research. Thanks for watching.